Enjoy the second half of our Clohesse Lake adventure with Grand Overland and Rove and Reverie as we make our way back down, set up shop at a fantastic campsite, and then traverse up Lost Canyon Trail just in time for an epic sunset and a lightning show for the ages. If you weren't sold on the glitz and glamour of Cloacy Lake from the previous episode, here are a couple more views to get you on the old Dane train. This place was pretty much like being in a Bob Ross painting, except you're not drunk at 2 a.m. on a Tuesday watching PBS. This painting is actually real. So this, this was a serious, serious slide. You know, some careful tire placement. Place, woo, as I, as I speak. The Jeep dancing on 37 inch shoes makes short work of the most difficult obstacle on this trail. Coming down, you're good. Coming down on the rear. And really, if you are in a decent 4x4, this obstacle is more scenic and fun than dangerous and challenging. There you go. Um, uh, what did I just say? Hope you all have a short term memory. Okay, so a full-size truck on questionable tires, no lift, no rock sliders, no steel bumpers, makes for a slow, painful dance. I'm well aware this obstacle looks pretty easy peasy in the video, and I'm making it look as difficult as a uh, colorblind person trying to solve a Rubik's Cube. It might be times like these that I miss my Rubicon. There you go. You're okay. I guess this, this is a good morning if you're a truck camping dog now. Morning, Dewey. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. This little blanket hog gets a tailgate breakfast before anybody else gets to eat. Confetti pancakes? You betcha! And breakfast is served. This campsite is easy to get to, somewhat secluded, lots of level ground, next to a 4x4 trail and the views are, meh, not half bad. All right, so good morning. We made it onto the start of Lost Lake Trail last night. Camped here before, gorgeous campsite. Take you uh, for a quick stroll through what we've got before we head out for the day. Did rain last night, um, a little windy, destroyed the awning, one awning. But all in all, really can't argue. All right, got the Titan just about packed up. Check out the view, man. And we have this beautiful setup over here, complete with awesome trailer. And it comes with a Dewey who's getting a belly full of bugs. So we were here last year, we had five vehicles and it was able to accommodate all of us without a problem. Um, this trail, we'll show you it later, is a uh, pretty sweet it zigzags all the way up there and then you can kind of see in the distance uh, way above tree line where it ends up fairly easy trail but absolutely spectacular not sure if the snow has given way yet but we're gonna find out oh boy pretty sure this is what killed the dinosaurs dun, 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 dun. yeah Never seen one before. This is a ptarmigan, also known as a high-altitude snow chicken. It is the only Colorado bird that lives in the alpine tundra year-round. 
buddy. Its camouflage is specially adapted to this harsh environment, helping it to keep it from becoming chicken nuggets for opportunistic predators. <clears throat> we are in a race against time to get to the top of Lost Canyon Trail before sunset, so unfortunately, I was not able to get much footage of the ascent. But thankfully, we did get these rather stunning drone shots as we made our way towards the end. From the air, you can really take in the dramatic surroundings. Sprawling tundra stretched between jagged peaks and cut by serrated cliffs gives you the feeling of being on a different world. As you can see, we are not taking the time to soak it all in as we are absolutely cruising up this trail for our date with the sunset at about 13,000 feet. Don't let our careless pace fool you. There are ruts big enough to swallow a jeep, boulders that need to be carefully navigated, the ever-present danger of flopping your rig over on the steep pitch, which if you do, I hope you like roller coasters because it's going to be a real long ride to the bottom. Talk about perfect timing. These photos are not doctored up. The colors were actually this bold as a storm rolled in and the sun melted behind distant peaks. You will feel like you're on top of the world, surrounded by plunging valleys caged in by towering mountain ranges. Oh yeah, we even had some mountain puppies come and join the party. They made dinner out of something down there. Dewey was quickly tossed back in the Jeep. Just taking pictures and feeling ways about things, man. The mountain gods had one last gift for us after the sun faded away. An absolute non-stop light show in the distance, highlighting the power and beauty we get to experience when we let go of our soul-sucking city lives and refuel away and on top of it all. And remember, what's your goal? <laughs>